Hey, check it out, I'm not dead! I don't even have an ear growing out of my forehead. Or any other weird toxic radiation mutations. Nice! Okay, fresh new day, same old moon. Maybe I'm oversharing here, but I woke up with a horrible taste in my mouth. Rinse with some water, spit it out, and it had a weird green tint to it. Probably something to do with trace elements in this place's atmosphere, but still, pretty strange, huh? That is strange. <laughs> Maybe he got over-radiated? Not quite sure, but maybe that's what happened. Oh god, you think? I don't feel bad or anything. No headache, no nausea, nothing like that. In fact, apart from the whole lost in space aspect of things, I actually woke up feeling really good this morning. It's just, green spit is a little weird, huh? Man, I sure hope it's not radiation poisoning. It'd be tough finding a matching bone marrow uh, donor around here. Anyway, Rat pellets don't taste much better. I gotta do something to get this weird flavor out of my mouth. Let me choke enough of these down to keep body and soul together. Well, that was delicious. Isn't quite the word I'm searching for. Maybe su sustenance is? Maybe just barely, but it should, it should hold body and soul together for today's field trip. Should be plenty of time to go check out that strange peak to the north and still make it back to the Varus, uh, Varia before nightfall. Just one more pass over the ship, make sure everything's locked down, and then I'm packing some rat food and water and heading out. I'll keep you posted along the way. Back to where my escape pod came down, it looks like it rolled over during the night. I guess the wind caught the chute and dragged it a little ways? Damn, must have been some pretty high winds, it moved probably 10 feet. But hey, that's only what, 3 meters? 3 doesn't sound so far. Things are less freaky in metric. Damn, looks like the path I was on is blocked off. I was tracing this shallow canyon, but I hit this huge boulder. Way too big to climb over. What do you reckon? Uh, should I look for some quick way around it? Or back out of the canyon and try another path altogether? Um, I mean, he's here. He might as well try to find uh, another way around. Take a few minutes. Maybe I'll find something. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Honestly though, this train looks pretty unforgiving. Listen, there's just no way around this thing. Not enough footholds to get even a few feet up up it. Or, or meters up it, but whatever. These canyon walls look like nothing but loose rock. Two and... Surprise, surprise, as a science fair champ, I'm pretty much the definition of an indoor kid. I don't think I'm cut out for rock climbing. Thoughts? Okay, should we send him back out of the canyon or give climbing a try? I think back out of the canyon, because I'm not confident with his athletic skills. Yeah, I'm with you. I think, I think that's the right call. That whole boulder situation looked like a death trap waiting to be sprung. There's a gentle slope up the canyon wall a few hundred yards back. No, I can't rattle that off in metric. A hecto bunch? A pico buttload? I hate to lose time for doubling back, but it's preferable to the whole breaking a leg, 5,000 pico buttloads from the nearest hospital scenario. Anyway, off I go.
so having one of those dilemmas that only people stranded on the moon can have. Bear with me here. I'm standing at the lip of a huge crater. I mean huge. As in, like if I weren't terrified of dying alone in deep space at any given second, I'd take a moment to be really, really odd. Problem is, this marvel of geography is smack dab in the middle of where I'm headed. So it's either I slog around the perimeter, making a big semicircle in one direction or the other. Or else I try my luck easing down the side, and then cut straight across. There's certainly something to be said for the shortest distance between two points, but people don't usually factor giant craters into that equation. What do you say? Uh, he's already proven... well, not proven, he's already kind of said that he's not athletic, so... I'm thinking it's going to be safer for him to walk the perimeter. Alright, you know, this is probably the safest call. All flat surfaces up here. Flat, dull, plain, plains. Whee! Look, <laughs> the most exciting decision I'm anticipating in the next couple hours is whether I should take off walking left or right. Since I don't have a coin on me, because there are very few laundromats or video arcades up here, I'm leaving this one up to you. Should I walk around this stupid hole in the ground clockwise or counterclockwise? This could be the most important decision you make all day. It won't be. Um, I say counterclockwise. Always go against the flow, guys. Always go against the flow. Wow, counterclockwise. That is a very daring choice. As I take off marching to my right in a big gigantic circle on an unknown moon in a poorly trafficked quadrant, know that you're strong clear decision-making skills have made all the difference. Clockwise sucks! Counterclockwise rules. Those who swim against the tide get hit in the face with all the best fish. See? He knows what I'm talking about. Oh boy. I think I used up all my enthusiasm, and I've still got an awful lot of walking left to do. I'll message you when I get about half to the halfway point. If anything amazing happens, though, I promise I'll let you know.